Math falsifies naturalistic mega-evolution, part 11. Atheist mathematician, and scientist quote 23. Provided inferior genes are separated from a superior form by only a single base pair, a large advantageous mutation can be found. By populations as large as a billion in a few generations, and by species with populations of order a million in a few hundred generations. But when genes are not poised on the very edge of important selective significance, when they are separated from important advantage by two or more base pairs, the advantage cannot be found by neo-Darwinism. Atheist scientist, Dr. Fred Hoyle. My comment. Dr. Hoyle indicates that, based on the math, random chance and natural selection can only optimize a gene when a superior gene version is separated by just a single base pair from the inferior gene version. However, if a new gene is required for a function, and that new gene is different by more than two base pairs from an already existing inferior gene, random chance and natural selection cannot find that new gene. This is consistent with what I have said in other videos. Neo-Darwinism cannot create completely new genes, that are different from previous genes by more than three base pairs, in the entire history of the universe. And, this means that Neo-Darwinism cannot create completely new body plans, and completely new phyla. That is because completely new body plans, and completely new phyla need thousands of completely new coding genes, and thousands of new non-coding DNA instructional sequences. So, Neo-Darwinism is false for the higher taxa. It cannot create completely new body plans, and completely new higher taxa, kingdom, phylum, class order. And, the situation is the same for all mechanisms in the modern synthesis and in the extended synthesis. Quote 24. The chance of seeing a particular base pair right in a particular gene in G generations is 10, to the power of minus, 9G. And the chance that two base pairs are set right in the same gene is, 10, to the power of minus, 9G, squared. For a total of 2n genes in a population of n individuals the probability of one emerging in a repaired condition after g generations is therefore 2n times 10 to the power of minus 9g squared which to be of order unity requires g equals 10 to the power of 9 divided by 2n to the power of one half a mammalian population with 2n equals 10 to the power of 6 would require g equals 10 to the power of 6 generations which is so long that further errors would accumulate in every individual before the two base pairs were corrected in any individual. Atheist scientist Dr. Fred Hoyle. My comment. Based on the math, Dr. Hoyle is stating that for a typical mammal population would require a million generations to be able to correct a gene that is degraded in function due to a two base pair error. In the time needed to correct that error, there would be a million other mutational errors. And this is just to correct a two base pair error. The average functional gene has hundreds of base pairs that are needed for function. So, random chance and natural selection do not have the ability to create completely new genes in the entire history of the universe. Note, atheist mathematician and scientist Fred Hoyle performed extensive calculations to determine if naturalistic evolution, random chance and natural selection, would work. And he found that it does not work, for any level higher than microevolution, i.e., adaptation of a species to its local environment, inside a genus or family. He published the calculations in a book titled, Mathematics of Evolution. The quotes above are from his book. Conclusion. In his book, Dr. Hoyle uses extensive mathematics to show that neo-Darwinism is false for higher taxa. Neo-Darwinism is true for microevolution i.e., random chance and natural selection can cause adaptation of a species to its environment, resulting in formation of varieties inside a species, or genus, but nothing more. Random chance and natural selection are not capable of creating the biofunctional information, and the large-scale changes, needed to create completely new body plans, and completely new higher taxa, such as kingdom, phylum, class, order. So, neo-Darwinism, random chance and natural selection, is false for naturalistic mega-evolution, i.e., the claim of naturalistic single-cell to human evolution. And, this is the case for all naturalistic mechanisms in the modern synthesis and the extended synthesis. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.